I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here from Clapham today, mixing it up again, because of course our flat is still not ready to filming. Um, but um, yeah, I thought today I'd do something a bit different that I haven't done before. And I wanted to just show you around the shop and some fabrics that we've got in that are new. And it might be that they're not yet up on the site, but they will be coming up soon. So there is lots of new fabrics that we got in for winter and also still fabrics left over from the shows that if you didn't go to the shows, you might not know about. So I'm just going to give you a little tour. Um, as you know, well, as you might not know, <laughs> that the heather dress is out. And I wish that I was wearing the heather dress now. But apparently I wasn't organised enough this morning. I had the worst night's nice sleep. Um, Poppy isn't very well at the moment. She's not that bad, but she's got a poorly toe. Like one of her um, claws is like, it's really sore around it. So she's on antibiotics. And they've given her a cone to wear. And it is... It is comedy watching her try and navigate with the cone. But she also gets into these fits where she's trying to take it off. And I was just a bit worried about her sleeping on her own. Um, so I was like, she's got to come in and sleep with us while she's got the cone on. But it's so annoying in the night. She gets up to move and she like whacks the cone on the side of the bed and then on the wall and then scrapes it on the duvet. And it's just so noisy. So she woke me up about four times last night. So bad sleep and therefore not thinking when I got dressed this morning. So um, sorry that I'm not wearing the Heather dress, but I will wear it again um, in my next video um, because, um, yeah, there's new stuff that you may have seen them on Instagram, but I will show you a new sample that Lisa made for the launch um, of um, the Heather dress. But it's been really nicely received. So thank you to all of you who have said lovely things about it. Um, I think for me, it is definitely the dress that I want to wear at the moment. I think because it's, know now colder um it's yeah it's just really cozy and also i feel like i don't you know because it is still slightly fitted it's not like a big kind of thick heavy jumper that just doesn't do anything for you it's still really flattering um but yeah really comfy to wear so yes for heather and i know you guys have been waiting for it for a long time so i'm glad that we've been able to get it out for, to you now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to not use this camera. This is my sort of fixed on a tripod camera. I'm going to get out my vlogging camera. So the light might change. Um, and I'm going to go around the shop and just show you some fabrics. Um, and maybe give you some ideas of what you could do with them. Um, I know that winter or autumn is quite a difficult time to get your head round, I think, in terms of fabric. So you don't want to suddenly wear loads of dark things. But at the same time, you've got to think about what goes with tights um cardies because it may be that the dress that you're making isn't going to be warm enough um and yeah you just want to choose things that yeah make you feel warm and cozy but still stylish so let's hope that we have some fabrics here today that can um do just that for us for you sorry okay guys here we are on the other camera which will allow me to move around the shop Okay guys, so I'm going to start off at the front of the shop and most of these fabrics that you can see here aren't new and they're actually quite summery um, but this fabric is new and this is a beautiful wool blend um, it's a kind of, I would say, an aqua green um, so I think it's around 50% wool, maybe 40% but it's really nice, I think it'll be easy to work with um, press wool really well and I think it will make a fab coat um, and just going back to what I was saying that I think it's hard to find bright colours in nice wintry fabrics which is why I bought that because I just thought that would be such a fab coat and actually seeing it next to this fabric which I got in for the Elsie that would be really nice I think you could kind of do a cool skirt or or dress or something and then yeah have a nice this nice greeny greeny coat over the top everything else in there is not new so I'm gonna move over and there isn't anything else new here either but if we go onto the counter onto the unit sorry we've got lots more new fabrics here um, so we've got this in which is like a classic kind of tartan and um, we always stock these kind of things at this time of year because I think they're really versatile I would make a pair of ultimate trousers out of these or this rather or if that's too loud for you I think it'd be great as a shift dress because you could make a sleeveless shift dress and then wear it with a long sleeve top or a polo neck underneath quite a 60s vibe I think that look really cute um, and also you could make a pencil skirt as well 
so that would be really nice um, these are a bit summery I think this this isn't a new fabric but I do think it is perfect for autumn it's kind of like a sort of a tan kind of color um, and I just think it's it's a lovely crepe and I just think it'd make a really nice uh, pussy bow blouse or or some kind of top maybe um, a Susie blouse but yeah I really like this fabric also maybe a nice shift dress as well out of that over here we've got some heavier wool um, so this is more of a jacket weight again you could probably make a shift dress out of this but it is um, definitely a little bit thicker so maybe a nice pencil skirt but yeah nice classic kind of I can imagine this with brown boots and maybe a cream jumper as a pencil skirt I think that would be cute what have we got down here some fabrics from the show this is really nice I don't want to pull it out but um, it's basically a, a crepe um, as well I just think it's really nice weight to it it's quite expensive weight to it and it's quite matte it's not shiny at all um, with these lovely beige roses and black background I think that's really versatile again if you could make um, wrap a shift dress out of that you could also um, make Doris out of it that would be nice with a little black cardigan and black tights that'd be a nice little Doris dress definitely what have we got here over here so I think we've had this for a while but yeah you can't go wrong with a spot but this is new and I do love this this is kind of this is a rayon um, so yeah perfect for your rayon projects so perfect for tops um, really nice um, and I just like the fact that it's got black in it because I think that's just easy to pair with black trousers um, for winter so yeah got my eye on that definitely I also love that there's mustard in there because I think I could wear a mustard cardi with that fabric and it would look really nice we've got some uh, hound's tooth which is always really popular at this time of year again it's a nice weight very good for trousers or skirts the rest is all looking quite summery this we've had in before but I got it again because I just thought it was quite unusual it's quite African in print um, but I thought um, yeah I like the mustard always a big fan of mustard um, over here we've got more of our linen viscoses which we do a lot of and you might recognize these ones um, certainly these two we've had in for a while but this one and these two are new and these make amazing um, coats and jackets they're really good for that um, and you remember what did I make out of it I made a pencil skirt as well so really nice and really nice weight you don't need to line them um, if you're making a skirt um, I don't think they'll stick to jean and um, to tights so yeah they're great this is also new and I know this is I don't think this is up online yet but I absolutely love this it's navy and then it's got these kind of almost childlike flowers but they're really lovely colors and I just think this is just a great fabric um, just really unusual print and I would definitely um, I'm gonna take some of this for me so I think you'll be seeing this later on um, but I think yeah I guess tops dresses basic dresses things with drape um, I was thinking it would make a nice vintage shirt dress actually for winter um, so yeah I like that a lot look at this guys so just showing you these are all going out for you can tell we've released the heather dress because these are all fabrics that are perfect for the heather um, that are going out um, for orders today right over that's our Indian ribbons over here so we've got more of this back in which you might remember for the poppy play suit um, we had um, used this sample um, this fabric but um, it was really popular and I really like it so I've bought it in again and it is in both shops some of you who live in London will know that not everything can come into both shops just because you haven't got as much room in, Cl in Islington but that one definitely is um, and uh, yeah I just think that would be great for a pussy bow blouse in the winter definitely got my eye on that as well um, here these fabrics aren't particularly new or this one is this is very popular with the sew over it team um, I think a few coats are being made out of this jackets really nice it's like a kind of tapestry woven thick excuse me fabric really really nice and then we've got some more summery fabrics these are new actually both of these lovely colors but a little bit um, more summery um, going down um, here 
so we've got our wool so all our tweeds and wools are down here and we've we've actually I think sold out of a lot of them but this yeah this wool and this wool was very popular when we got it in and I think we have more definitely in stock that can come down here from Islington but such a lovely colour it's a boiled wool and this I always love I always get something like this in at winter which is just like a classic British tweed I just think for jackets very country country living um, but yeah and nice for skirts as well pencil skirts we've got some more tartans and then just some plainer wool so if you're looking at kind of just plainer navies we've got a lot of navy you can tell I like navy and we've also got quite a lot of grey so this is new which I really like it's like a again a sort of similar weight to the tweed it's just um, and it's like a just like a twill weave but little diamonds is that focusing yeah it's really nice really nice soft wool um, so these might not be up yet guys but they will be coming up so um, bear with us we'll get through them and then these are all absolutely brand new that came in this week and these are just gorgeous wool blends this in particular I absolutely love it's like a it's not showing up so nicely on the camera but it's quite a deep kind of wine red really rich color it's gorgeous and then there's this lovely rust we've got it in a blue and we've also got it in um, a pink and a lovely kind of aubergine color but yeah I just think they're great and I think next month I'm gonna make a Lola coat out of it because I've been interested to see whether the Lola coat works out of a fabric like a wool how it how it hangs so I'm thinking about doing that next sorry guys and um, someone was at the door so moving on to these ones so we've got some the, we've got three colorways in this and this is just perfect weight um, I reckon it'd be really nice in a Betty dress this for a winter Betty because it's not too heavy um, but also it could be nice for um, skirts as well um, might be nice as a full circle skirt um, and even a shift dress as well that would be nice and then this is a lovely wool really like this I think that'd be make a great um, Chloe coat for sure we've got some more Roma Ponty there I think he's he needs to be on the other side but we haven't got space from him over there but yeah and then we've also got some fine needle cord we've got a couple of colorways in this um, and um, yeah very autumnal colors um, but that would make a cool um, cool skirt or dungaree dress maybe right let's move over okay over to the stretchy side so over here we have um, all of our kind of jerseys and stretch cottons so here these are some Roma Pontis that we've just got in so Roma Ponti was what we used for um, the samples for the Heather dress so these are lovely autumnal colours and then these are all our crepes and a few Noah luxury crepes um, I've just bought loads of colours in so there's lots of stock of them at the moment and then over here is our triple crepe so they're a bit heavier they make great Joan dresses um, and the luxury crepes make just brilliant everything they really are popular so yeah all our colors are back in stock now um, stretch denims I don't think they're particularly new but these are amazing stretch denims these are actually what River Island use for their jeans um, I found their supplier um, and um, yeah it's a really good stretch denim it's like 20% stretch denim and it's what I use for the Mia jeans um, and just showing you along here this is these are my favorite lightweight jerseys that we've got in at the moment so this lovely gray with this kind of circle I find that quite 1940s in design and we've got it in black there's also some navy but I wonder if we have got some in stock in Islington but I wonder if it's sold out here if that's the case it will be coming your way soon online because I'll send it down and then down here we've got some textured Roma Pontis which are really nice I again I bought them in for the Heather dress so they've got a real lovely kind of feel to them um, so we've got those just in some three classic colors there and then we've got some more stripes down here which again aren't new but they're very popular so yeah these are our remnants I don't think there's anything up there that you guys would be particularly interested in but I shall show you because I know sometimes when I film and you're like the fabric that you're standing behind on the left or standing in front of what is that so I'm going to show you everything um, these are where all our kind of 
more jazzy cottons, uh, lightweight fabrics are. You might recognise some of them from samples. And here's some more remnants as well. It's, we've got our remnant sale this weekend, so um, lots of remnants ready for that. Last area, guys, these are the fabrics on the stairs that are some cottons that we generally stock a lot of these all the time, but we have got these amazing Peter Rabbit fabrics in just recently. Um, so these are carrots, and then there's little Peter Rabbit there, pink rabbits, and there's also this one that comes in as well. So it's a really lovely little collection. So nice if you're thinking of making anything for children, Christmas presents. Um, yeah, these are where our kind of more novelty prints and um, quilting cottons are. Hmm. So you are lady up there. And there's our ladies in the window as well. So here on the counter, Molly's put some, some spiders and spider webs. And then we've got some yummy chocolates for trick-or-treaters or just lovely customers that want some chocolate. Um, and you can see in the window, we've got kind of pom-poms, although the color's quite hard to see. I'm gonna go outside and show you. Okay, here's our window display. So we've got fairy lights in there now, orange pom-poms. And here is our unit. We've got some lovely leaves and fabrics and pumpkins and little buttons and things that look like sweets, but they're not. Children will get excited, but they're not. Um, yeah, it's looking really nice. So guys, I'm just have, I've got my tea. Mmm, yummy. Right, that is it. That's the tour of all the new fabrics. So hopefully, I don't know if I gave you that many ideas, but I did try my best to go through and say what I think you should um, make with them. Um, but I was thinking if you're interested, I might do a more specific pairing of fabric and matching with patterns, just to give you some more inspiration for autumn, winter, um, great patterns. And I'll pull out some samples and things that I've made. Um, so I'm planning on doing that vlog soon. But for now, that is it. I am going to do some bits and bobs here and then I'm going up to Islington to finish the window display there. Um, and then on Saturday, um, tomorrow, I will be going to a Halloween party. It's a Halloween magic show. So um, I don't really know what to expect, but we're gonna dress up, we're going with friends. And um, I think it's like a buffet dinner and then a magic show and then dancing and stuff afterwards. But I'm looking forward to it because I haven't done anything for Halloween in a while. Um, and for those of you over in the States, we're not very good at doing Halloween here. So um, yeah, we're nowhere near as good as you guys are anyway. But that is it for now. I will see you next week, guys. Have a lovely Halloween, have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye.